clause in the parliamentary service bill that seeks to limit the term of the clerk of, the, of both the National Assembly and the Senate has already put members of both houses at loggerheads. While the proponents of the amendment argue that a clerk should have a term limit and approved by the House, those against the move claim that it amounts to interference of the civil servants who should be impartial and be forced to be at the whims of majority of the members. And as Chris Thayru now reports, it is alleged that there are backroom tassels to remove or retain the current secretary of a PSC and clerk of the Senate, that is Jeremiah Nyegenye. For weeks now, the 12th parliament has come under harsh criticism following their unanimous support to the Parliamentary Service Bill 2018 that seeks to increase their packs. But still inside the controversial bill is a clause that threatens the career of the clerk of the Senate, who also doubles up as the secretary to the Parliamentary Service Commission, Jeremy Anyegenye. National Assembly, the Senate, the CEO is a clerk. You don't expect the CEO to be there for 20 years. What would the CEO be doing there? That is why you end up with a situation where the CEO now becomes too old even to deliver. You cannot say somebody is a civil servant and yet you, his, his tenure is dependent on the political happenings. Of the, in, in, and you've seen uh, how uh, politics have always been uh, pegged on the prevailing circumstances, uh, on the big man or the big tribe. According to the clause, which has split staff with intense lobbying and discussion over its implications and objectives, the clerk will be appointed for a five-year term, renewable only once. So I really don't know whether there are some people who are targeting an individual, but to me, I think it was a good proposal so that we have also performance appraisal backed by possibility of renewal of your term. Because if you know you are just there up to the age 60, even if you don't deliver, it is very difficult to get you out of office. The recommendation has been cited as succession wars in Parliament. Currently, clerks leave office only when they attain the mandatory retirement age of 60 years, just like other civil servants. Just sitting somewhere because you are young and you have nowhere to go. It, it, these positions are not created for you uh, to be comfortable and not to, so that uh, if you don't have somewhere to go, you remain in it. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to deliver. Now, for example, you've brought up uh, politics of succession. That's why people will now start be looking who's, who's, who the, 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 uh, like is from which tribe. Uh, we, and you've seen what has happened in the Senate. People coming up to protect one of their own. It is the age of the current Senate clerk and secretary to the Parliamentary Service Commission that has attracted huge debate among politicians. Jeremy Anyigenye is only 47 years old and has served as the clerk of the Senate since 2012. He was initially Parliament's director of legal services from 2007. So I really don't see why that should scare anyone. You should go into that office of clerk, serve for a period and leave. The clerk is the authorized officer in terms of the financial expenditure of parliament, hence the accounting officer. He's also the man who prepares the budget of the parliament, as well as advises the speaker in the running of the chamber proceedings. The fears that Nyegenye could remain in office for at least 13 more years before he exits from the powerful office could have swayed the MPs to a fixed tenor to the office of the clerks of the house. The bill, which will be put to a vote this Thursday, will then be moved to the Senate for more discussions and any amendments. And as the clock ticks towards that crucial vote, in the National Assembly, the Senate will be next in line to add their input. And as things turn, there's a likelihood that both houses will be headed for a mediation to resolve the likely differences. Krista Roketia News at Parliament Buildings.